It was a day of discovery. I discovered that I could sex my pregnant girlfriend into a coma. Nice! Carla discovered that her baby wasn't the only one who loved breastfeeding. Oh, are you hungry, sweetie? I could eat. Dr. Kelso discovered change was not always welcome. A uh, coffee place in a hospital? What's next, Bob? An ice cream parlor in the morgue? Admittedly, not a horrible idea. Seems as the freezer is already down there. Plus, it'll be a perfect place for kids. One of our famous vanilla malts, it definitely takes the sting out of having to identify the freshly charred remains of your father. Nobody else seems to mind. You should have worn sunblock. Did you get tickets yet? Ah, another one. Still, the best discovery was learning that someone I drummed out of medicine and landed on his feet. Front seas. Got it! Hey, Dr. D. Mm. That's what we call cabbage-tastic. Oh, I love this job. I screw up, nobody gets hurt. Except Cindy. I scalded her pretty bad with some steam milk. You could see the bone. Ooh. Uh, how about a second of that dynamite ape impression? <laughs> Sorry, Cindy. Once he's in monkey mode, you can't stop him. But who would want to, right? Cheers. Hey, Kim. Just checking to see if your socks are back on since I knocked them off last night. Hello! What am I doing? You're the mother of my child. That is so tacky. And so is this way to hit that place. Oh, right? So, so. <laughs> so sorry. Relax. It's just sex. We should be able to talk about it. I'm not telling Isabella she's got a vagina until she turns 18. That's going to be an awkward birthday party. Do not tell my daughter she has a vagina. I'm serious. It may have already come up. Kim, uh, JD tells us that you're looking around town for a new job. Yeah, I just don't think the department head here is ever going to promote me. Why? Dr. Lemke, you're going to love this. We're a husband and wife piano playing team. Only I have no hands. <laughs> Where's my head? How great is that? This is my wife, Sally. She lost her thumbs last month when our pet Komodo dragon, Morty, got out of his cage. On the bright side, you have beautiful nubs. A tip jar. Really? So what am I supposed to do? Just duke you my change because you poured hot water through beans? Well, I'll tell you what, my friend. Unless you're also planning on giving me a complimentary reach around with my beverage, I'm afraid the answer is yeah, no. Here's, here's a novel idea. Why don't you go fetch me a very large cup of coffee with so damn many fake sugars in it that the coffee itself gets cancer. Um. Guys, guys, I got a good one. Is it me or does someone Somebody need to switch to decaf? decaf? Lay off of Elliot. She doesn't watch as much old TV as we do. You actually stood up for me. But now I'm forced to ask. Who are you and what, what have you done, done with Turk? Stop finishing my last joke! Oh my god. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. Superman. She's so beautiful. Can I hold her? That's up to Turk. He's kind of paranoid about people dropping her. Yeah, you got decent hands. Go ahead. I get her first because we're best friends. Elliot, Ted, give it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm next. What? You drop everything. Why do I... Besides now. Look, come on, it is a human life. I'll focus. Give it to me. Right here. Whoa! Wait, what more is he? So, Carla, how much time do you think you'll take off? Oh, look at this little angel. I may never go back to work. I heard suckling. So, you're having chest pains, Mr. Turner. Actually, it's Dr. Turner like someone I used to date. I had a brief older guy, Jones, but now I'm with someone more age-appropriate, and I'm like, ew, what was I thinking? Mm, we are disgusting. Yeah, but for some reason I was curious. Anywho, uh, we'll just run the usual tests. Sounds good. Dr. Turner seems like a nice guy, and he's hot. You know, like if he left Brad Pitt out in the sun forever. Stop it, Elliot. It took you months to get over that old man fetish. Lonnie, he is private practice. Those guys are cocky jackasses who don't give two shakes about anybody else's opinion but their own. They're... 
they're me with one addendum. They're whores. And I'm not talking about the good kind of whores like my ex-wife. They're whores for money. Is that a tip jar? Look, I'm figuring that those lumps down at the coffee shop can have one. I can, too. L listen to me. You may like Turner right now, but he is a doctor, and doctors make terrible patients. Sooner or later, they all try to treat themselves. Harry, a quick word. Oh, no time. Got to go tell Mr. Clancy that his tumor is benign. Is that not exciting? Should be worth a Finsky. What do you think? Where the hell did you all come from? Sneak attack. You can put your shoes on again, guys. Nice work. Dr. Kelso, as spokesman for the support staff of this hospital, I have a request. I do not want to hear any more about a college scholarship fund. Stop filling your children's heads with nonsense. Pull them out of high school and teach them a trade, like plumbing or undertaking. None of us here even have kids, except for Margo, and she sold hers. We want a dental plan. Dental is for old people. You young bucks have years before you have to worry about your choppers. One. Two. <laughs> Lovely. No. Uh, Rudy. You carry an actual tooth out of your head? We were all faking it, man. What are you... Okay, don't worry. You know what? I got a jar of monkey teeth in my workbench. What's that, a molar? We're going to be all right. Man, we got smoked. That's what we get for playing a bunch of G's from the hood. Those guys are Indians. So Rajesh isn't one of those cool black-only names like Anthony? No, Rajesh is like Steve in India. Oh. Yeah. Why are we stopping? You always buy me a cotton candy after the game to celebrate my good sportsmanship. Yeah, well, you know what? I can't be buying you stuff all the time. Yeah, well, I'm very close to a tantrum. Could you guys look at my shoulder? I tweaked it pretty good. Come on, VJ. First you dunk on me and yell, who's your bitch? Now you want free medical advice? How did I not know these guys were Indian? I give you 20 bucks. I'm sorry, my friend, but that's just unethical. Done and done. <clears throat> uh, who's the new guy? Oh, this is Dr. Kirshner from my practice. Elliot Reed, I was telling you about give her away. So, look, as a doctor, I know that you're going to be tempted to want to treat yourself, and I just want you to know that's not going to fly with me. Understood. Great. Now, I believe that surgery on your abdominal aortic aneurysm is going to be too aggressive. I'd like to start you on 25 grams of Lepressor. Don't you mean 25 milligrams? There, see? You're already trying to treat yourself. That was a test. But 25 grams would kill me. I know. But it's still a test. Fine. From now on, you're the doctor. <laughs> All right, relax, you're fine. Decisive when you get home. Zoop. Put that away, Turk. That's back alley money. Relax. Hey, I'll give you 20 bucks if you check out my rash. I'm sorry, cotton candy man, but unlike my friend here, I have no interest in being sued for... Do I smell blue? Just added the dye. Oh, you crafty, crafty man. That is fluffing up nicely. Hey, give me some money. I'm jonesing for some C-squared. Ah, uh, you don't want my back alley money, do you? You are, that's bastard. All right, let's see your disgusting rash. It's probably just eczema. One blue, please. I'd like to see the blueberry again. Oh. Blueberries taste fresh. Hmm? Hint of lemon zest. I'm intrigued. And unfortunately, processed flour. No, thank you. Let me try your carrot. I have a non-fat latte with room for schnapps for janitor. Yep. Thank you. Nice braces. Yeah. You're not worried about the spider monkeys? Spider monkeys? Spider monkeys see intricate metalwork as a display of dominance. It's a threat to them. They tear your eyes out. Well, I'm just like this place is paying for them. You get dental? Mm-hmm. Dr. Turner said that I am a very talented young physician. Jordan said I'm the only man she ever wants to have sex with. Oh. Aren't we sharing fantastic lies we choose to believe for personal reasons? He's actually a very deferential patient. Instead of surgery, I'm treating his AAA with drugs. Dope! My God, Dr. Chatterbox there scheduled him for surgery. What the hell, Kirsch? I don't care if we had extra coffee money left over. I don't feel right taking that guy's cash. Dude, stop stressing. See you later. Is anybody planning on emptying that? Sometimes everything you need to know is on the side of a coffee cup. Never underestimate those around you, or they may betray you. Greetings, customer. What can I get you? They may deceive you. And here we are. 
Even though Kirshnar's signature is on the chart, this is the gentleman who ordered the surgery. No, he didn't. Tell him. What would you like me to say? I'm just going to go ahead and tip myself for calling this one. Thank you. Me. In the end, those same people will make you wish you'd never met them. Maybe that wasn't just a rash on Cotton Candy Man. I didn't tell Kim about how I most likely ruined my career by misdiagnosing the Cotton Candy Man. I don't like to be a burden to the people I care about. Turk, I need you, and I need you now. Isabella, this is the man you'll be competing with for your father's love. Gucci, Gucci, goo. Turk, now. Babe, he's using his emergency tone. Go ahead, I have to feed her anyway. Oh, my breast is so sore. I wish I could just give you formula. Formula's bad for the baby. Boob milk's healthier. His rash was probably purpura from disseminated intravascular coagulopathy, and I missed it, Turk. I'm screwed. Okay, you, you go in there and take care of things, huh? I'll just stand out here and think about all the things I'll miss about being a doctor. The light cotton outfits, the free gauze. He's gone. Somebody shot him. Oh. I hope it wasn't the corn dog guy. They never got along. Look, Dr. Turner, you're older. You're not in the best health. I really think that this surgery could kill you. Are they going to come in and shave me soon? I'm still your primary physician. No, Kirchner's my lead now. I think surgery is the right choice. What, did you give him cue cards? That way he gets it exactly right. You don't scare me. Eventually you will all come crawling back. Now how about somebody gets me a banana nut muffin and hold the spit, please? As manager, I reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. Manager? You have worked here one day. Corporate loved my ingenuity. I was saying the two most addictive substances on earth are caffeine and nicotine. Behold. <laughs> smoke a chino for Kyle. Kyle, smoke a chino for Kyle. Enjoy that. That's as tall as he's going to get. I feel like I dodged a bullet. Trust me, Brown Bear, you don't want this hanging over your head. Find VJ and give him his 20 bucks back. Yeah, but then I have to give the money back to all the others. I kind of did a few diagnoses at the mall yesterday. Are you crazy? You could get sued. Secondly, I can't believe you went to the mall without me. I specifically told you I needed to buy loafers. And thirdly, how could you go to the mall without me? That's our thing. Well, I don't see you giving the money back to Cotton Candy Man. As a matter of fact, they already did. A 20! Score! Cool shirt. All right, I earned that money, and I'm not giving it back, and there's nothing you can do to make me. Give those people their money back. I can't believe you told! Turk, we're doctors. We live by a moral code. Aloha! I came to see the little kahuna. Giant coffee. Saw you coming. Here's your vente drip. Say, how about a Corinne Bailey Ray CD? With her stripped down sound and chilled out vibe, this British soul superstar is one of the year's hottest newcomers. You know what? I'll take one of those. It's a sale. You know the worst thing about Turner surgery? I'm going to be right, but he's going to die. It'll be a hollow victory. If I got to be right and have a private practice doctor die due to his own idiocy, I would call that a pretty full victory. Banana nut muffin, please. Sir, I've been told not to serve you. <sighs> hey, just take me. What are you going to do, put me in jail? You Bob Kelso. Just grab me and run. Do it. <laughs> oh. Yay! All right, I'm going on break. Don't touch the muffin puppet. Let's see if you're qualified to hold your own baby. I got it! That counts! I'm gonna go hold the crap out of that baby. Jenny, what the hell? I'm a surgeon. I could have hit my hand. Why are you being so weird lately? You won't loan me money for cotton candy. You're charging strangers for medical advice, and now you're worried about your hand? Who are you? And, and what, what did you do, do with Turk? Turk? Great work, everybody. Thank you. I asked them to help me out for emphasis. Seriously, what's going on? You saw what happened yesterday. Oh, look at this little angel. I may never go back to work. 
How the hell am I supposed to take care of a whole family by myself? I'm so sorry, Bobby. Why didn't he listen? <laughs> I thought that you hated him. Ah, when it comes to torturing you, everybody's on the same page. You know, Reed, you had the cojones to stand up to me. Unlike Kirshner, whom I've so demoralized, he's basically my trained chimp. He... He's almost human. Anyway, I've got enough yes men. You've got a spine. Join my practice. You can still work out of this hospital. The only difference is you'd make double the money. Easy, buddy. That smell burning your nostrils isn't just the baby throw up on her jacket. Oh, I got to hold Isabella. She squirted out of my arms, but Carla caught her. It's the smell of a doctor with integrity. Also, you'll never have to answer to this guy again. Standing on top of the edge, it feels like it's going down. Everything stays in my mind. Wow, I got a family. You know, seven months, I'm going to have a family, too. Do you ever think we'd be here back when we were freshmen in college? Remember that first week when I found you hooking up with my girlfriend and you said you guys were only naked underneath the covers because you'd had a water balloon fight and you were cold? J.D., for the last time, nothing happened. Please, this isn't about that. Just that I looked all over, I never found any balloons. You'd think there'd be some balloons. I look at Isabel and I get really scared. I'm gonna need you to be there to help me through this. Well, that sucks, because I was counting on you to make it look easy, so I know I can handle it when my turn comes. Awesome. Kirk, you're at the beginning of your career. You know you're going to make plenty of money. It's good to hear that from you. Thank you. You're going to be just fine. I suppose so. Totally fine. Yeah. Would you mind telling me that I'm going to be fine, Turk? Am I going to be fine? I think I'm going to be fine. Well, I would, but I don't know how much you like him. I really like her. Then you're going to be fine. Thanks. Is there anything else you want to tell me or admit to? I mean, I looked everywhere. There was no signs of balloon. Opportunities are everywhere. Whether it's accepting an old job. Hey. You can have your demo. <laughs> I'll clean up this mess. taking a new job. I'd like to join your practice. As for me, I was just excited to have the opportunity to get to know the mother of my child better. I got offered a new job. Cool. Is it over at County? Because that way I can drop you off every morning. It's in Tacoma, Washington. Oh. It's going to be a little rough on my scooter. Mm -hmm.